Hello family, it is June the 27th, 2017 and it is 4.14 in the a.m. and I have come on to do a video about Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 6. I believe this is episode 15, I believe. <laughs> I will research that, but I believe it's the 15th episode. Anyway, um... I wanted to talk about that a little bit. The show was a little heavy today. I mean, it was really, really. I mean, well, last night rather, it was a little heavy. It was a little. It was a little deep. Okay, should I say that? Um, when I turned on to the show, um, Stevie was outside with his two daughters, and so, um, and I believe that that was an awesome choice. That was a choice he was supposed to have made. For the simple fact that this lady has shown who she is. He knows her shadows. He knows what she's capable of to a degree from being with her the length of time that he has been with her. And he's aware of, you know, there's some mental illness, you know, some deep-rooted. What I'm saying is some deep-rooted past pain. Let me say that. I won't say so much as mental illness because I can't um, put that... A label on her that's not fair to say so excuse me for that but there's a few things going on I think we all have witnessed that throughout the years of the show um, of course there is a poetic license but then when a person show you who they are in all kind of random places that doesn't have anything to do with the show then pretty much this is you know to a degree on how they get down so um, and last time that I had, um, did a commentary on the show, um, I was in error. I didn't know so much of the background between Mimi and, um, Jocelyn, um, on what, you know, the lies that was told and to my understanding, CPS and all kinds of stuff was involved because of the lies that she had told. So that further gives Mimi rhyme and reason to question, you know, you know, the relationship uh, with Jocelyn and, and, you know, not one or a round her daughter, pretty much. So I can understand, I can understand that. But also, I believe that um, there are, it's a magnetism between Stevie J, well, I'll just say Stevie because I don't want to call him Stevie J. Just, just, just say Stevie and Mimi. There is, uh, there's some unfinished business there. You know, I believe that their love grows deep. And, you know, Mimi is in her feelings. You know what I'm saying? It's like she didn't put up with this man for 15 years or whatever. And then he have a baby, in a sense, in between their you know, still having dealings and still feelings attached. So, yeah, she feels a particular kind of way. And honestly, um, the little girls do look like sisters. They definitely has uh, Stevie's features, very, very strong features, and the babies do resemble a great deal. So I can also see that Mimi um, would have a little problem with that. But, you know, Mimi is doing Mimi right now. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, uh, I, I adore her. Um, I like uh, her participation in the show. But, um, you know, I really believe that um, this show really needs to bring on some counseling sessions for the uh, cast members on this show. Because after tonight, it showed that a lot of the women are battling some past pain. You know, um, I was looking at the luncheon that the mothers had and the stories that they were sharing about their drug abuse and alcoholism and all this stuff and the things that they put their daughters through. Um, so I say unto, to the ladies on this platform, please start rebuilding your relationship with your children because broken children become broken adults. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's 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 kind of sad to watch, though it is entertaining. Um, but it's it's 
in a degree, of, you know, kind of sad to watch because you're seeing realities um, unfold. Um, now, yes, in, in, in the reality realm and reality shows, um, in my per personal opinion, I think that some of it is, you know, plot lined and put together. Um, but, you know, when things are just reoccurring um, and, you know, away from the show, there's still that same personality trait. Then, therefore, you have to put it on that this is how this person really is. And this is their reality get down. And tonight it just showed some things that I just was not like, I was like, wow, it was entertaining, entertaining to watch. However, um, it was just being played out. It was just hard to watch. Um, so, but I do commend the mothers for their willingness to come together and work on this thing. And, um, I'm certain Mona Scott probably had a voice in this as well. I just wish that Rashida's mama was amongst the group because she needs to be as well. Um, as she stated tonight, that she's been married two or three times or whatever. So she's also dealing with some, you know, some trust issues and pain and all that kinds of stuff. And this is her daughter's marriage. This is not hers. So actually, this is her daughter's decisions to make. Okay, and this is her daughter that needs to be addressing her husband about his transgressions. So, in that particular instance, um, though I do not agree, let me be crystal clear and say that uh, uh, Rashida and 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 Kirk, this right here being played out is oh my God, it's so hurtful. You know, because as I understand, it has been founded that he is the father of uh, this young lady's baby. And it's just, it's just horrible. You know, here you're, you're, you're watching a couple that has been married nearly 20 years, okay? And your husband is saying on national TV on how he was giving the jump off $3,500 and all this kind of stuff, hush money. You know what I'm saying? Kirk, you have really, really, really hurt this lady to her core. You know, and each and every season is almost as though you're pushing the envelope further. Okay? But I do commend you for putting it out there on record that you don't want anything and that she can have everything. It's It should go that way. It's supposed to go that way. Let me be clear on that. It's supposed to go that way because she's bearing the children. And as it stands and as it appears, and you guys have pretty much validated it, that she has not, um, you know, done you no serious doulo to these magnitudes. You know, I was married 20 years too. And yes, we've had our set of problems. You know what I'm saying? So all marriages is going to have that. But all this right here, and you've been done, doing shit every fucking season. You coming in here with some crazy shit. You know, so yeah, rightfully so. That was a good look. I just wish that it wasn't played out in front of the children. Because children don't understand whether or not these are full, fully stamped and recorded uh, divorce documents or not. But those of us that also understand and know that you can't serve your own documents. So then therefore, but kids don't understand that. Okay. So I really didn't, I didn't, that was a little uneasy. And um, th it was awesome that your t daughter took the liberty to take the children away from this situation. And so then therefore, you guys can have some private time to discuss what was going on. Um, I just kind of, you know feel a little bit which, which way about the fact that not only is it being played out on national television, on the fact that not only did you have an affair on your wife, but you also brought a child home. You know what I'm saying? And as it is alleged, which um, all of this is, is pure speculation because we just doing commentating on this. You know, we're, we're going by what is shown, not what is known. So let me just be clear on that. But this is just, mm, wow, Rashida, my heart goes out to you because it's like, wow, to sit here and to go through this. Now, I understand that you have your bills to pay just like the rest of us, you know, and with um, such a lifestyle comes a residual income 
comes a certain income bracket to be able to assume the responsibilities for who you owe. So I also know that, you know, then therefore when it comes with that, it's like, you know what, check this out. I'm just going to grit my teeth, but I'm going to pay my bills. So on that note, I totally understand, but I do feel for your emotions because I know they got to be raw. It can't be nothing else but raw, okay? Um, Jessica and Tommy. Jessica, you know, you have a fiancé now. You're moving on, okay? You have to understand that what you got going on a lot of those ladies on that show, they want that. The ones that don't have it, okay? And you have found that. God has put that in your lap and in your heart. Don't ever punch down, okay? Now, um, Tommy got her own set of issues and her own set of problems. Don't go back and forth with this young lady right here. And I call her a young lady in which because she's acting very juvenile, okay? And But it just also attest to the root of her pain, okay? Sometimes you know not what you do. And as I said in numerous occasions, the relationship that you hold with your mama is a relationship that is going to basically give balance to your subsequent relationships throughout the course of your life. If your beginning was not stable, then therefore, guess what? The rest of your life, you're going to be going through push and pulls, with relationships and trust issues and the like because your rela your relationship with your beginning wasn't stable. So with that, you know, Tommy needs some, you know, she she yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. She needs she need a few more sessions. And to be selling liquor, I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? That is her nemesis. That is the root of a lot of her problems. You know what I'm saying? So, but it is a weakness of hers, you know? And, you know, it could just be for the show. That is what I'm hoping, you know? But, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot being depicted on the show right now. And it's just, it's just heavy to watch, okay? Um, let me see, what am I missing? Let me speak on Jocelyn because I think I pretty much touched the rest of it. Jocelyn, you have really torn your ass, okay? Now, um, in the beginning, when you first came on the scene, you know, it was all fun and games. It was like, man, this motherfucker's wilding out every week, okay? Now, it's over the top, okay? And any time you begin to put child protective services and stuff like that within a family and you bringing that in, now you have a child on your own. Okay, so which now people can do to make them same calls on you. And which you don't have nobody else but your mom and them, and they in Florida. Okay, you done already said you don't want to go back on the pole and none of that old type of shit. But if you have played your cards right, you wouldn't be sitting in the position that you're in right now. Because, yes, you basically begging this man to stay in, which that's not where he, you know, deep down inside, you done gave him everything, all you fulfilled his fantasies. You know what I'm saying? On oh, however way his get down was. You know what I'm saying? So you done gave all that and you you tapped out now. Now it's time for an upgrade. Now he on to something else. Okay? So ladies, you can give up you can give up all you want to and your integrity to somebody. And now at the end of the day, you washed up goods. You know what I'm saying? And now that she done, you know, of course she gonna put it out that she quit the show. You know, but hell, you can't cuss out your boss. That's unethical like a big dog. Where you, where's that Where's that done? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, um, I like Tammy anyway. You know what I'm saying? So start phasing her on out of the show. I just wish that she would have handled her money right. So then, therefore, at least she would have a home and, you know, a, a, you know, a beginning for her, you know, for her family, for her and her daughter. You know what I'm saying? The way, the way it looked like, I don't know what her get down is. But every season of the show, she got a different place to stay. I don't understand that. So then, therefore, there's a problem somewhere. Okay? So, you know, the show tonight was, it was, it was, it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot to it. You know what I'm saying? It shows how deep the pain is running. You know? And a lot of these women are battling a lot of past pain. 
you know, about their their relationships with their mother, you know. And so I can't tell you enough, family. You know, we need to start standing fully present with our children and accept ownership for the part that we played and to the recklessness behavior and to the broken down relationships. You know what I'm saying? We need to take ownership of that and start rebuilding what has been broken. Because at the end of the day, I will say it again, your children are going to have to take care of you. And if you've got a real nasty relationship with your children, then guess what? You're not going to get the quality of care that you really, you know what I'm saying, need. You're going to get what you deserve because it's just a karma effect. Okay? So, yeah, tonight's show was good. I have to say that, but tonight's show was rather dark. It was a lot going on with it, you know what I'm saying? I just truly wish Rashida all the best because that's a lot. You know, that's a lot. Yo, I mean, your husband, if they're in that 20 years, go have a baby by somebody else. He on national motherfucking TV talking about hush money. And he was giving her this right here to keep her quiet. What? Yeah. So, family, guess what? That was a good show, but it was a dark one, and there was a lot to it, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm tired, and I'm going to bed. So, on that note, I say unto you, I thank you. I thank you for watching. Good morning, and good night. Bye-bye for now.